Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we finally have some light at the end of the tunnel and some really great news heading into the weekend for The Division 2. As most of you know, this week has come with a lot of problems and issues for the game, but in the last 24 hours or so, we've had a ton of progress made and a lot of new updates to go over, and so I want to break everything down that you need to know about the current status of the game. So let us first get to the most breaking news, and you can see it right on screen that they posted recently this morning. We'll be taking The Division 2 servers down for an unscheduled maintenance today, Friday, February 10th at 4 p.m. CE. 10 a.m. ET and 7 a.m. PDT estimated downtime is three hours. And so if we go over to the patch notes here, it's actually kind of incredible the amount of stuff that they've been able to tackle in this maintenance, considering how quick of a turnaround this has all been. These issues just cropped up a day or two ago. I figured we were going to have to wait until like middle of next week, maybe to get a restoration on that, especially given some of the information that we got yesterday, which I'll go over shortly. But as you can see right down here, and this maintenance is happening right now as I'm recording this video in the patch notes, I'll just go over these quickly. They fixed the issues of blank screens and empty menu tabs multiple error messages, the issues with world difficulty and global directives, the inability to make season in-game purchases, the control point resets, the issues when uh, crashing when you interact with the pilot at the boo in DC, the issue with the crash when you hover over the countdown icon on the map. They said they partially fixed the game crashes that when uh, happen when you travel from New York back to DC, but more of those fixes will come into U17. And they also fixed other instances associated with the technical issues that caused the game to crash. Given they only partially fixed the New York to DC crashes, they also list a known issues tab there where they say traveling from New York back to DC can still cause the game to crash. They offer some recommended workarounds that obviously I've been sharing around with you guys a lot. That involves starting a countdown game from New York that'll put you back in DC afterwards. You can disable global directives and apparently that will help you not crash when you go back. You can join somebody else that's in DC and get taken to there or speak to the pilot. So there are some ways to do it. Unfortunately, it's not fully fixed, but once TU-17 drops, that should all be taken care of. And I'll also leave a link for the known issues board for the game in the description below because they've listed some stuff there with additional workarounds to some of the issues. So in case not all this stuff is cleared up, you can check the status of everything on there. But in my mind, this is all just really fantastic how quickly the team has been able to move on all of these huge issues that cropped up with the game. And obviously we know that there's still more coming. If I hop on over to Morton Ryberg's Twitter here, he put up uh, just a short while ago before I start recording. Today's maintenance is about getting the game back to the state it was before season 10 ended. This is the step one that is getting us towards season Season 11, we will share the date with you as soon as we can. So given they've been able to get a handle on all of this stuff so quickly, I think we absolutely will still get Season 11 in February. Probably not this coming Tuesday, but the following one would be my best guess as of right now. Now, there are two things that come out of this news that I'm still unclear on and that we're still kind of awaiting further confirmation about. I left a comment down here uh, to Morton's post where I was asking if this maintenance that they're doing right now, does it restore Season 10 and is the build generation system restored? So I do not know if Season 10 will be there when this maintenance goes down. We'll find out in just a few hours here. But if you don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about the build generation system, that involves what they announced yesterday when they gave us an update on all these issues that were going on. I uh, didn't do a video on this because I, I just didn't feel like there was quite enough to talk about, um, but now we have some more concrete stuff today, so I absolutely wanted to loop it all in. But yesterday, they kind of give a breakdown on why all of this stuff occurred. They said, Dear Agents, last week we shared news that the season would be delayed due to a localization issue this past Saturday. In the process of creating the update which would resolve the issue, we encountered an error that brought down the build generation system for The Division 2. As a result, we cannot update the game until the system has been rebuilt. So that is a major deal. Uh, the build generation system is what allows them, like they say, to <laughs> release new updates and build upon the game, and that is obviously a big undertaking to try and rebuild that. I don't know, again, that's why I asked in the tweet if this has been already restored one day later when they're doing this maintenance. I don't know how that works. I'm not a game developer, uh, but we'll find out. And then they say, in the past, when a season was delayed, we extended the previous season's activities. Unfortunately, this is not possible in the current situation, as we are unable to make a server or client-side update until the build generation system is restored. Stored. Again, I don't know if that's being resolved right now with this current maintenance. We are working to resolve the situation as quickly as possible. We have made good progress over the last 96 hours and have been able to restore critical aspects of the system and will share a timeline for resolution when available. We deeply appreciate your understanding and patience and we will share our in-game compensation plan details soon. Our next update will be provided tomorrow, which is of course today, and that's when I wanted to recap everything that's been going on. So they add in a really awesome tidbit at the end there that we are going to receive some sort of in-game compensation for all of this that's happening. I think that's totally a great move and a, a deserved move on the devs part for us to receive. Don't know what that will be, but it certainly should be nice. And I think it just shows the devs uh, respect for our patience with all these issues. So I think that's a great move on their part. 
So those are the latest updates, guys. In just a few hours from when I will be posting this video, the game should be pretty much back to normal, except for, again, we don't know if Season 10 is going to be restored with this maintenance or not, but all of the issues that are causing game crashes and all the stuff like that, except for the one instance where you're traveling from New York to DC, everything else should be fixed, and that's fantastic, again, that they've been able to move on that so quickly. Heading into the weekend, it should all be a smooth experience, and that is phenomenal. Again, we still await some further details, like what is the status of the build generation system? Is that actually fixed, or was this some sort of bypass in order to just get the game to a working state? And also, what's the new timeline for Season 11? Everything like that. We still have some more information to learn in the coming days and week here, but of course, when we do learn that stuff, I will keep you all right up to date right here on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe with notifications on to be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts on the news that The Division 2 is being fixed, everybody. Are you surprised with the swiftness of how things were able to be restored? I certainly am. Are you pleased by the fact that we're going to receive an in-game compensation package? Whatever your thoughts are on the latest developments on these Division 2 issues, certainly let me know all of your thoughts down below. And that is going to do it for me today, everybody. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold. Ow.